Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number three of our Marseille career mode on FIFA 20. We're kicking it off with our first scout report from our scout who is in France. He's a five star, five star scout, and he's come back with actually some decent talents that in the future may actually make it into this club. So it's good to see as we go into the first game of the season, we're taking on Monaco at the Stade Louis. I think it's I think it's Stade Louis 2, the second. Something like that is their home stadium, but we are travelling to their stadium. Take them on. They've got a very, very good attacking lineup. Gignac and Ben Yedda. So the defence are going to have the handfuls for this one. But we have still yet to score a goal with Olivier Giroud. So this actually might be quite tough to actually get that Balotelli achievement that is one of our season objectives. Obviously, to score 10 goals with Giroud. He's not scoring. Benedetto's not scoring either. It's a great strike there by Ben Yedda. One of the most lethal strikers in league. Um, but Mandanda is there to actually match it and makes quite a nice save to deny them the opportunity of tucking one home. As Benedetto from the resulting corner receives the ball on the edge of the box and he's just going to drive at the defence of Monaco. Waiting for someone to back him up. That man is Thalvin. Played past the back line really nicely. One on one with the keeper. And it's with his weak foot. Maybe if he had taken that one on his left, it would have been a better chance. But in the end, it was a really poor shot and it was well saved by their keeper, Supersic. They're not even playing Lecompte. But Lopez, charging forward here, plays the ball into Thalvin. Thalvin's going to turn and thread one through to Saar. He's going to whip it across. Giroud gets his head on it. A brilliant amount of power. Just the accuracy isn't quite there. And it does go wide of the post. And another chance goes missing. As it's still 0-0. No one's yet to break the deadlock here. It's Giroud. Receives the ball. Plays it out to Rongier. Rongier to Lopez. Lopez is going to play it up to Giroud. Takes it down. Strikes it again though. Subasic makes a brilliant save. And Giroud is having a majority of our chances in this game. As Benedetto receives the ball. Drills it up wide to Umave. He's got opportunities to whip it in. Or play it down to Payet. He decides to go down to Payet. He's then going to whip it in. Again it finds Giroud. But Jamison can get to the ball first. Payet then plays it to Benedetto. As the chance still is there. The strike by Benedetto is just palmed over the top by Subasic. And they live to fight another day. It's still 0-0 just after halftime. Ben Yedda, he's going to play the ball through here as he cuts past one. And he plays it through to Ndayu. Hits it on the first time. He had the chance there to actually take a touch and set himself. But he hit it first time straight at Mandanda. And we're easily clearing that one away. As Ben Yedda's played through a great save by ben, uh, by Mandanda and Leun. Eventually we get the ball away that as Leun plays it to Amavi. But only as far as Cesc Fabregas who plays it to Adrian Silva. Back to Fabregas. In to Gignac. Gignac through to Golovin. And in the end it's a poor strike by him. Over the crossbar and the chance ends there. It's still nil nil in this game. A lot of opportunities for both teams. It's on his left foot. Whips it across. Giroud can't get to it. Sansone does. And then Giroud... It falls to him, hits it on his right foot, goes well, well wide of the post as we go into the 90th minute of this game. Amavi heads the ball clear. Not quite far enough for Gelson Martins as he gets it to Golovin. Golovin to Adrian Silva. Ben Yedda dinks it over, but it's cleared away by Leun. Upfield. And that will be it. The final whistle will be blown. A nil-nil draw with AS Monaco away from home. I think is a very, very respectable result. Giroud had a lot of opportunities in that game. He's still yet to score. It's been six games, I do believe. So he better start scoring. Otherwise, I'm going to look like a fool for signing him for so much. But it's okay. We're taking on his former team, Montpellier. If he can score against anyone, it's probably going to be Montpellier. They, Everyone seems to score against their old clubs, basically. As we change up the lineup slightly... For this one. But we do still have the main man up top in Giroud. This time though we've got Benedetto taken out for the left winger. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. Because I get it wrong every single time. And Payet at Cam for this one. As Leun wins the ball back for us there. But he's out of position as Laborde is played through by Delort. It's a great strike at the near post. But Mandanda gets his hands on it. And he puts it wide for a corner. As Thalvin plays the ball to Dimi Payet. Payet's going to play it back through. As the left-footed Wonder looks to get past Hilton. He's going to stop. Dribble around the ball really nicely. Gets past his man. And he's going to drill it in. It's a great save by Ruli. And it is eventually cleared away by Ferry. As it's still nil nil. Morgan Sanson plays the ball through to Rongier. For Payet. Payet looks to strike it. As he's taken out by Diego Carlos. That can only mean one thing. 
It's a free kick in prime Dimi Payet area. 20 yards out. Right into that top left hand corner. So sweet. And I will ask you boys. I will ask you boys. Was this free kick ever in doubt? It's an absolute peach. A rocket into that top left hand corner. And that is one of our objectives ticked off. We have now got one out of five free kicks with Dimmy Pyatt. We need four more. And we should be able to get them. Obviously, we're six games in. Oh, sorry, this is the seventh game, actually. And we have only got one. So it's whether we actually win the free kicks in the correct area for them to be taken. It's going to be tough. As Thalvin's played over the top by Demi Payet. One-on-one -one with the keeper on his stronger left foot. Ruli palms it straight into the bath of Oli Giroud, who goes and gets his first goal for the club. His trademark scorpion kick celebration. And that is another one notched off. That's one out of ten goals for Giroud scored in this game. Unfortunately, that won't count as a Thalvin assist. But we move on. As we had a chance there, but it was actually called back. To the injury for Savernier, who is he's a pretty decent centre mid for Montpellier. I believe he got into the team of the season last year. And maybe he's one we could look at? I don't know, but we do have quite a good amount of rotation in the midfield. As Rongier plays the ball to the left winger. I'm not going to even attempt to mention his name, but Amavi cuts past his man really nicely. Threads one through to Radonjic, who whips it across to the back post. Thalvin, I don't know what really is doing there. But Thalvin heads the ball at the ground. It bounces over the top of Ruli. And he just walks into his own post. Very, very silly. But that is another one notched off. Because that is a Thalvin goal. Contributing to his 20 goals and assists this season. Or his 20 combined goals and assists this season. And he wants more as he whips the ball across to Rajanic. He heads it to Giroud. Looking for a second in the game. But it is well saved by Ruli. And we do end the game 3-0. I told you. Giroud would score against his former team, and he did so. Payet with a free kick, Falvin with a goal. That's three of our season objectives that we are working towards in this one game. It's brilliant to see. As we went to the third and final game of the episode, we're going to take on Dijon. Going to go make some mustard. As for their team, there's not really anyone in that team that I could recognise and tell you, like, tell you how good they were. But you can see our team, it's almost unchanged, except for Pyatt goes up to the left and the youngster comes into the middle. And again, it's just trying to find that perfect cam. We can't really find it right now. Pyatt's doing well there, but he's also doing well out wide. As you can see, he whips the ball across. It actually almost goes in, almost actually scores a goal himself there. Really good chance there by Pyatt. Another one's going to come here, 12 minutes in. He's going to dink the ball across. Thalvin looks to get his head on it, but Ndong... Does get the shin on it and Gomez is obviously allowed to catch that one. Because it didn't come off his foot, it wouldn't be counted as a pass back. As Rongier plays the ball to Giroud. Giroud's going to play it to Kahui. He's going to thread one through to Thalvin. One on one with the keeper. And he's already got one. And now he just can't stop scoring. As Florian Thalvin makes it 1-0 away from home against Dijon. Working towards his objective. It's brilliant to see. As he's not done there, he's looking to get an assist in this game as well. As he cuts past Balde brilliantly. And he's going to do that old little move there. Ronaldo Trump cuts inside to Sansone. Nutmeg strikes it. Gomez, though, makes himself look huge. And he defends his goal well. It's a brilliant little dribble there by Sansone. And by Thalvin before that. We just couldn't put the ball into the back of the net. As Dimi Payet plays the ball to Giroud. Holds it up brilliantly. Threads it through to Kaori. And he is going to get very, very fortunate there. To get onto the end of the ball and actually tuck it into an open net just before halftime. He doubles our lead. He makes it 2-0 to Marseille away from home. And he goes and celebrates in front of the Dijon fans. It's a bit... I mean, that's what I told him to do. I told him to do that. Have that confidence as Payet. 15 minutes into this game. Looks to break into the box. And he does so, but he can't really find anyone. So he's forced back outside as he finds Sansone. Sansone's going to find Rongier. Kaui, he's going to play it through to Thalvin. He's already got a goal in this game. What else can he do as he cuts past his man brilliantly? He's going to try and strike it, but it actually kicks Sakai. And it finds Kaui. He turns into Giroud. Very fortunate there. And even more fortunate there. Gomis, what is the man doing there? He put so little power on that one. And he palmed it straight into the path of Giroud. Who just a striker of that quality. You do not want to be doing that to him. 
as we move further into this game, going to bring on some fresh legs, let some people have their first appearances of the season. We're 3-0 up, so we are, we're cruising at this point as Rongier in the midfield. He's going to dribble up and he finds Giroud. Giroud's going to try and find some space. Can't really find any space. He plays it back. Eventually he finds Thalvin who's very good in these tight spaces, I'll tell you that. As he dribbles past, finds Giroud. Just the slightest little touch on that one on his stronger left foot. Tucks it past the keeper. That's two goals for Giroud. After struggling all season to tuck one home, he does find two in the back of the net in this one game. Just past the 70th minute, Sakai intercepts brilliantly, finds Oli Giroud. He's going to take it in and he's going to, it's clearly a poor touch, it turns into a nice pass to Sansone. He's going to cut it past, he finds the byline, plays it across. Rongier's not confident enough to take the strike, but I'll tell you a man who's confident. He's, he's oozing in confidence right now and he's just gone and got himself the match ball. It's Olivier Giroud, who on his left foot, from the edge of the box, strikes that one past Gomis with just pure and utter brilliance. But he's not done there, as I say. Three minutes into this game, uh, Rongier actually gets quite lucky again. We're getting quite lucky in this game. Again, falls back to him after another blocked chance. Strootman plays the ball to Giroud, holds off his man brilliantly, and at the near post, he strikes it past Gomis. And it's four goals in one game for Olivier Giroud today. It's brilliant to see. The confidence on this man. And I'll say you that right now. For his first six games, he didn't score in any of them. In his last two games, he's got five goals. Olivier Giroud is an absolute baller. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.